Hello and welcome to a fantastic math-tastic Tuesday. Today we are going to draw a model to solve. We're doing more with subtraction. We're going to use base 10 blocks to solve two digit subtraction. And down at the bottom, of course, we're going to manipulate numbers and we're going to subtract from 15. See those patterns from 15. So because we're going to use base 10 blocks here, I would like us to start up here with using expanded form and standard algorithm. So here, I will start with expanded form with 871. 871, and I want to subtract 292. Remember, we're always starting with that ones place. Here, if I have one cookie, I can't eat two. So I have to move my 10, a process we've been doing for quite some time. I know if 10 comes over here, 10 plus one is 11. And if I took this 10 away and moved it here, then I have 60 up there. So 11 minus two, hmm, let's see, eight, one, nine. I'm always making 10 to help me. So I knew I needed eight. If I have two, I need eight to get to 10, and I needed one more to get to 11. So that eight and one gave me nine. If I have 60, I'm not gonna be able to take away 90. So here I have to move 100. See how I had 60 there? I moved 100 over there. 100 plus 60 is 160. And then I ended up with 700. So here, again, this is how most people say it. They say 16 minus 9, but it's actually 16 tens and 9 pens. So that would give me 7 tens, which would be 70. Now here I have 700 minus 200 which would give me 500. 579. Remember when I regroup, I'm not changing the number. It's the same number. I just regrouped it so I could subtract. So here, standard algorithm, 546 minus 354. Well, in my ones place, I see that if I have six cookies, I can eat four of them. If I ate four, I would have two left. Notice here, two plus four is six. Just making sure I'm correct, checking my work. If I have 40, I can't give anything out to 50 people. If I have 40 cupcakes, I can't give it to 50 people. I don't have enough. So I have to regroup, and this will be 14 tens because it's 140, and this would be four hundredths. So don't forget about that imaginary zero that's here in the tens place because I'm in the tens place. And I have an imaginary two zeros here in the hundreds place. So if I did 14 tens minus five tens, I would end up with nine tens. And the way I know that is because 90 plus 50 is 140, or nine plus five is 14. And if I have four hundreds, I can take away three hundreds, and I would have 100. So I end up with 192. Here, 672 and 248. Already in my ones place, I see that if I only have two cookies, I can't eat eight. So I can regroup, move a 10, and this will be 60. So remember, that was 72 
I regrouped it with 60 and 12, and that still equals 72. So here, 12 minus 8. 8 and 2 will give me 10. I need two more. 4. So 8 plus 4 is 12. 60 minus 40. Hmm. 6 tens minus 4 tens would give me 2 tens. I didn't have to regroup, so I can just do 600 minus 200, which is 400. So my answer here is 424. Now I can use those base 10 blocks. So let's start with the 52, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and two. And I'm gonna subtract this 18. Remember, I have to start in my ones place always. So if I have two ones, can I cross out eight? I cannot. So I'm gonna move this over here, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten over here. So all together I would have twelve. Well, if I have twelve ones, I can definitely take away eight. Here I go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have four ones left. So I know that's gonna be my ones place. Now I want to take away one ten. This 10 has already been moved away. So I have four 10s. I moved it over here to regroup. So if I take away one more, I would have three 10s. So now I know 52 minus 18 is 34. Those of you that like the standard algorithm, if you would like to do it on the side, just to check, you wanna show this way because you might have to show math in different ways at school, even if you're working out a problem, you might need to think about it a different way. So all, you still want to work it out here, but if you need to, remember this became 12 when we moved that over. That's why we have 12 ones here. Remember how we had four tens? That's why that's four tens. And then you can just do the math. You could take the eight away and you ended up with four. Take that one away, and you ended up with three tenths. So either way, you still get the same answer. All right, let's look at the base 10 blocks down here. 55, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one's simpler. I can take four ones away from five ones. One, two, three, four. How many do I have left? Just one, one. And I can also take 30 away from 50. 10, 20, 30. And what do I have left? 20. 55 minus 34. One, 21. Excellent. So here I'm gonna use what I know to help me subtract from 15. 15 is a teen number. It is 10 and five ones. So if I have 15 minus five, I would just need 10 to complete that fact family. 15 minus seven. I wanna take away seven. So let's just start by taking away five from the 15. So if I take five away, then I would end up with 10, and then I could take three away, and I would end up with, sorry, not three away, two away. I take two away and I would end up with eight. 15 minus eight. I could take five away, of course, end up with that 10. This one, I'm gonna take three away and I would end up with, you know what? Seven. 
7. Now this is close enough to 15 that I could technically count up. If I wanted to use the count, out, count on strategy, I could. So I could do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many did it take for me to get to 15 from 11? Four. 11 plus four is 15. Eight plus seven is 15. Seven plus eight is 15. And five plus 10 is 15. Excellent work. This is our last Mathtastic Tuesday. See you again tomorrow. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.